Now you can see by the title, you can see by the thumbnail, you're thinking, Rossi, there's a bit of clickbait here. But whoa, 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 let me explain it, all right? It's not clickbait, this is true, all right? Barcelona have announced Di Maria. It's very, very weird circumstances, all right? Now I'm going to talk about it today in today's episode. Now that's right, guys. Okay, as you guys can see on the screen, you can see Barcelona's official Facebook page actually put out a status saying, you know, welcome Di Maria to Barcelona. That is pretty insane. Now I'm going to talk about it in today's episode. I'm actually going to talk about, okay, the social football stars and the social teams, their social media pages that have been hacked, all right, and what has happened from it. That is what today's video is all about. It's very, very interesting. Now, we have players today, okay, that have been hacked on social media. We have teams that have been hacked today on social media. So, overall, it's going to be an interesting episode. I hope you do enjoy it. So, let's start off with Di Maria, of course. The first one we're going to take a look at now. Barcelona have announced that Di Maria has signed for Barcelona, but unfortunately for everyone, or Barcelona fans, Barcelona actually announced on their Twitter page that their Facebook, their social media have all been hacked, so it's not actually true. I mean, they confirmed it, but on their actual own, you know, proper pages, but it's not true. Barcelona confirmed that their social media accounts were hacked after they had confirmed and appeared to have confirmed signing of Angel Di Maria from PSG. Welcome Angel Di Maria to FC Barcelona was posted on the club's official Twitter and Facebook pages on Tuesday, so that's on both. They hacked both, whoever it was. Now, apparently it was a hacking group, Our Mine. I don't really know. I know a little bit about them, but not enough, and apparently, yeah, if they hacking like big pages like FC Barcelona and stuff like that. That's pretty devastating. That's huge. Now this got tens of thousands of likes, you know, all on the social media posts and stuff because obviously everyone knows there's big rumours in a minute of Barcelona trying to sign people like Coutinho. So Liverpool fans were buzzing when they found out they signed someone else because they thought they'd leave Coutinho alone. But it's not true. They confirmed it, but it's not true. Now for the second one, we've got a player now, okay, they got hacked. An ex, well, Man City player, ex-Man City player, Mr. Samir Nasri, you guys may remember this from a year or two ago now. His Twitter page was hacked as well. But the hacker was a little bit more savage, right? Then obviously, uh, well, our mind was just, you know, toying with Barcelona fans and stuff like that, saying they signed Di Maria. But the hacker of Nasri's Twitter was a little bit savage and actually, like, accused Nasri of having an affair on his girlfriend. Now, a string of tweets actually appeared on Samir Nasri's Twitter account on Tuesday evening. This is like a year ago. Nasri was accused of cheating on then girlfriend Anara Anta. Oh, I can't even pronounce that. By an anonymous poster. We don't know who actually did it. This was in a response to a tweet from a medical service called Drip Doctors. So the hacker actually posted on Nasri's account which read you also provided me a full sexual service too right after <laughs> So, yeah, that was pretty big. They're a bit more savage to these hackers for Nazri. Now, someone actually was hacked this week, all right? And it's actually pretty big. Romelu Lukaku's Instagram was hacked this week. And he trolled Cristiano Ronaldo. The hacker actually trolled Cristiano Ronaldo on Lukaku's Insta page. So, I mean, the person who hacked in Lukaku's Insta page, okay, they changed the names, Ep Music. They changed the logo, promoted some music thing, it looks like. But the other thing that people are obviously talking about is apparently he trolled Cristiano Ronaldo. The Real Madrid star penned on an emotional tweet regarding his recent court battle. So only for Lukaku to comment, Messi is better on the post. So the hacker obviously went on Lukaku's thing and put Messi, no, Lukaku, what, should I say it again? Lukaku, right, this hacker, went on, obviously, Ronaldo's Insta page and put Messi is better. Bit of bans, not too major. So yeah, this is really, really recent. This happened this week. Lukaku comments, Messi is better, mate, on Ronaldo's posts. These uh, hackers are pretty savage. The next one is a legendary footballer, an old school footballer, okay? Vinnie Jones, he had his Twitter hacked and uh, was pretty controversial what the hacker did, all right? So Vinnie Jones's hacker actually tweeted out 100 dead foxes, all right? It was a, it was a picture he shared. Now, obviously, fox hunting and stuff like that is pretty controversial in the UK and some like Vinnie Jones obviously couldn't be seen doing all that, but someone did hack him and someone had tweeted this picture from his account. But the good thing is Vinnie Jones actually did come out and prove that this wasn't him. They proved the photo was from Australia. 2012 news or something like that so they proved it wasn't actually him that tweeted this picture but obviously when it came out a lot of people you know gave him a lot of abuse and a lot of hate because Fox Hunter is pretty controversial over it. Last but not least we've got Mario Goetz's Twitter page actually hacked as well now this was a little bit more funny right he's just the hackers and a little bit of bants anyway so the hacker actually tweets Schumach over Messi and Ronaldo basically saying that Mario and Schumach is a better footballer than Messi and Ronaldo. Yeah a bit of bants all right fair play hacker. He also said Schumach is God to someone else and then he said Dortmund Revenge, Schmack for Ballon d'Or or Brunswick City. So yeah, Mario Gertz is hacker, obviously. There's another one. Twitter page getting hacked. Um, obviously, we've seen lots of Twitters, Instagram, stuff like that. Facebook page, Barcelona. Pretty big, right? A lot of these are pretty major. They can have pretty big effects on everyone when this happens. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video of interesting information, drop a like and a thumbs up down below. Greatly, greatly appreciated. I'm out. Has been as always, guys. Take it easy. Peace.